then his brother said James ducking Franco just winked at me, and then he got pantsed. Has anyone had a celebrity NSFW encounter? What's your story? Welcome to another story time from Alien Radio, I'm your host Andrew. Today's going to be a wild ride. Before we go anywhere, why not hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell. If you don't, I will block Hentai Haven on all of your devices. Anyways, let's get into the stories. A guy walked by me at the airport as I sat waiting to board, and kid you not farted mere inches from my face. I looked up, it was Bon Jovi. Saw Tim Allen's mistress sprinting out of his trailer after his wife showed up at the set of one of those Santa Claus movies he was filming. I rode in a hotel elevator with Red Sox pitcher Derek Lowe at light 2 in the morning, while he was making out with two women at the same time. Billy Joe Armstrong, Green Day, told Tree Cool, their drummer, to suck my dick. Instead he gave me some orange soda. I'm straight, it worked out. I had a friend who met Jason Sedgel at a bar in La. She said he was fairly drunk and all over the place with their conversation. At point he just point blank said to her, so are we gonna have sex? She said, no, he responded okay and then just walked away back to his table. Back in the 90s, when Jean-Claude Van Damme was the crap, a relative was at a Vegas hotel and went down to use the sauna. He was in there shooting the crap with a business partner and in walks Van Damme. He says if you are who I think you are, you are Op's favorite action star, and Van Damme confirmed and told him to tell me hello from him. Everyone was nude. This wasn't me. It was my mom. My mom was on her honeymoon in Hawaii when she bumped into Oj Simpson before he went crazy. He looked at her and asked to head to his room. She pointed at her ring finger and said oh I just got married he took her hand and put it down, looked at her and said that matters why? In the end she called over my dad and he took a picture of her with Oj, which is now forever in her honeymoon album. This is actually from a director I worked with. In the 80s, he was hired as a backstage dresser for a Broadway show that had Patti Lupin in it, and it was his first show. I don't remember what the show was, but there was a scene where she runs off stage. He was instructed to stand right off stage and hold his hands out at a very specific position, which is common in quick change situations, where an actor might have to hand off or literally throw a costume piece to make their change. What actually happened is that his hands were in the perfect position to get two handfuls of boob. As she ran off stage she pulled her breasts out so that he would grab them. Apparently she likes pranking new crew members. Did a gig with the band Less Than Jake many years ago as a sound guy. They arrived at the venue, bigger than life, promising the whole local crew we'd have a great time, and at the end of the night, beer and blow jobs for all. Can't beat that, right? Show ends, trucks loaded, singer is still hanging around and I walk up to him, he gives me a big hug and says something like didn't I tell you it'd be a good time? Didn't I promise? In fact it had. It was a good night. But I turned to my new best friend and said it was, but I don't drink and my dick is still in my pants. This place is pretty empty and I'm here hugging you. Chris, the singer, isn't a particularly large guy. I am. There was a moment of absolute fear in his eyes as I hugged him tighter until he realized I was just kidding. We ended our embrace, they got into their bus and away they went. Fast forward almost a year. Less than Jake is playing the warp 2 ran I'm in the crowd. During their set, Chris and I make eye contact. And he remembers me. How do I know? He proceeds to yell into his mic. Hey! Somebody sucked that guy's dick and then point at me while pretending to blow his microphone. I'm still a fan. I was shooting behind-the-scenes photos of a D-list celebrity boxing tournament in college. After a long day of witnessing the power of egos and 15 mins of fame, the Optimum giving me Advil for my back, Coolio calling me a G, and seeing O's Akon Seiko put on fake tattoo sleeves, I was ready for a drink. I had been talking to an absolutely beautiful ring girl, and she wanted to join me for a beer after the fights ended. We went upstairs to the bar and she went to get us a table. I went over to the bar and while waiting for the drinks, ducking Ron Jeremy himself came up next to me. He said he had seen me talking to the girl all night and offered to be the wingman for me. 
Luckily my confidence was already sky high for already getting the girl to come drink with me, so I politely declined and went to join her waiting at a table nearby. He told me to stick my thumb in her butt later for him. Edit. I failed all of you that night Reddit. We made out for a bit, but she had a flight to catch, and I had to drive home. Talk for a bit over texting, but she was never back in my area. I was in the bathroom of a restaurant in Vegas taking a massive crap, and walks someone and sits in the next stall. After a couple moments I hear holy crap what died over there, I apologize and eventually get up and wash my hands. As I was drying them the other stall flushes and out walks Ryan ducking Reynolds. If I hadn't of just crap I would have crapped my pants. He looks at me and just shakes his head and asks what I ate, so that he doesn't do this to his wife. I just muttered subway. Anyways, we continued talking while he was drying his hands, and he asked where my table was, I told him, and by the fate of God he was sitting just a few over. Next thing I know my girlfriend and I are sitting at the same table as Reynolds and his wife. Honestly the best 3 hour dinner I've ever had. I've met other famous people before, but I've never met anyone as genuine and down to earth as him. Edit. Of course this gets all the attention and doesn't get buried. To answer some questions, it was Blake Lively, yes he picked up the tab, yes they love each other, I'm no expert, but what they have is what I want in the future, and yes, his on-set personality seems to be his off-set personality. Probably the one time in life I'll be happy that I produced mustard gas and almost killed my favorite celebrity. My friend pantsed, full pantsing with penis out, and the whole shabang, his brother and James Franco saw everything. It was near where John Lennon was shot, by that patch of flowers, can't remember what it's called. His brother was wearing a James Franco selfie shirt while we were in Nick. Franco pointed at his shirt and did like a finger gun and wink thing, sounds weird, but looked really cool at the time. Then his brother said James ducking Franco just winked at me, and then he got pantsed. Franco's eyes bulged a bit, and he started laughing and shaking his head. He never broke pace, just kept walking. After he was a ways past us he loudly said rock and shirt man. Edit. Sometimes I lay awake at night wishing I would've been the one who was pantsed. Imagine being able to tell your grandkids that the James Franco saw your throbbing penis in Nick. The wind softly blowing across your exposed schlong as a smile forms on Franco's face. Imagine being the center of James Franco's world, if only but for a second. I know as soon as he graced me with his wink, the blood would rush to the tip of my penis, and then the climax as my pants dropped. Just imagine. Not NSFW as in sex, but had a rather amusing dicks out moment discussing Shakespeare with Leslie Nielsen. I was in Stratford watching a production of Hamlet starring one of his friends. He was sitting somewhere above us, in a private section. After the applause died I made a beeline for the door, I was starving, having had to skip the requisite pre-theater meal, and leveled the head of his entourage bodyguard with my shoulder when he stepped out into the aisle. I still he don't know if the guy was protection per se, but he was modestly big and dressed like one. Mild commotion ensues, with lots of Canadian apologizing all around, Nielsen throws a karate stance, and then starts laughing his ass off. We happened to end up in the same restaurant later that evening, I hit the washroom, and as I was about to have a piss, and in strolls Nielsen. He notices me, and then, as awkwardly as possible, chooses the urinal directly next to me, and unzips. He starts telling me, in classic Nielsen deadpan, how he fired the guy, one week away from retirement, how his kids are going to go hungry, not enough money to buy his wife clothes, which is fine because she's pretty good looking for an amputee, etc. I just kind of default into listening mode because it was hilariously weird. After a bit he looks over at me, as drolly as possible, and says, kid, I'm three quarters of a century old. This takes a while. You gonna say something? So I asked him about the play, and how he felt his friend had handled a couple of notoriously tricky scenes. Our conversation, dicks in hand, was largely confined to the comic aspects of playing Hamlet, as you'd expect, but while brief it was illuminating. Eventually, decorum allows his zip to dictate my zip. We wash our hands, still chatting, and then head back out. 
Outside the washroom he extends his hand and says, rather conventionally, well, it was a pleasure, Varro, and, impulsively, I shake it, he holds on just a little too too long, and then starts grinning lewdly at me, and repeats, a pleasure, I ducking lost it, he walks back to his table. Rip you glorious son of a bitch. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.